I go here, boom, here, bang. I could just switch to this position and throw to the floor. Self-defense against a clinch. First one, we're locking in just with your standard wrestler's clinch. So we're catching the back of the neck. Remember, not with your fingers, but with the wrist. We're getting that elbow into their chest, dipping them in, and then we're trapping here and keeping their elbow down and in so they can't pull away. For this first one, when I get in this, they may be in here really tight if they're wrestlers. If they are wrestlers, there's a couple ways I can push them off balance. I can use my head to drive. If he's mad, this is like a self-defense thing. They're gonna be talking to you, threatening you, talking a whole bunch of smack. Couple things, you can either drop your weight down to this knee, get under the side of the jaw, and drive that headbutt. Second variation to stun them is to get this here. I can, you feel that on the back of the skull? Yeah, yeah, I feel that. So you do this a couple of times, it's gonna stun them. He's gonna look up wondering what's going on. Yeah. In that moment, I just need one or two, boom. Drop the palm under, angle the face away. I'm stretching them out. From here, I'm gonna use my tonsil under. That same tonsil position right here. Going from here, stretch them out. Tonsil under. I'm gonna use the crook of my elbow to trap them so it becomes a grip. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my swing step, which is the swing step, okay? So it's gonna be the swing, and then I step back into them. As I'm doing this, I'm gonna bring this elbow down to my hip. It's going this way, and then back in. As I do that, Okay, I'll push them out, start from here again. I push them out, boom. As I got that release, that's breaking the grip real bit. I've got them off the body. I can slide under. I'm gonna cradle as I swing. Boom, see how he comes in? I step right in. Then you can lock in your sleepers, whatever type of lock choke you wanna apply. Stun, press the face, cradle, in, here, and you've got them. If I wanted this just to be nice, that's your standard wrestling. You got your rear naked, you got your sleeper. But if you really want to get, you can do cross face here. And if I come in here, I have a gable grip and bring him down and in. He'll tell you, you can feel that really take yeah. neck pressure. Snap that neck. Or bring it into this, and you've got even worse. Yeah. All right. On this one, now don't apply this, don't try this on your friends. I'm going to go very light. His neck locks in at this point. As soon as I turn him here, I'm going to turn you a little bit. Okay, just bring your body as soon as I start to buckle that down, that oh, puts a pressure that. in the neck. You feel that. If I am going to go in here, close the circuit off, I usually turn my palm up. The reason for that is I'm gonna grab the top of his head, I'll go very light. He's gonna feel as this palm rolls down, the wrist, the radial bone right here, is gonna crush into that jaw. Oh yeah, see that? that? Yeah. And on here, I now press this down and in towards my same side leg. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I felt that. Yeah. It's, that was it's a light. finisher. It's a finisher. Yeah, that's like, going to break your it's neck. It's a compression. Face is turned on the 90 degrees, giving you a stinger. The compression of your neck being folded, and then the downward impact compression of the compression on the top spine. of your head. Very, very dangerous. Should only be used in real self-defense situations, yeah. meaning that your life is online. This is brand new to him, so <laughs> he wants to push the face away. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna take this hand, push, yeah. and then I'm gonna slide under. And I'm gonna grip this with right. my bicep. Okay. okay. With the full of that with bicep. With the full, you, you can see my bicep flexing. And then with this back leg right here, I'm gonna go ahead and swing it back like this. All the way back, which is gonna start direction. that uh, rotation. Then I'm gonna pull my elbow down. That's it. And right here like this. Now you push. see this right here, how I got it? So what I'm gonna do is reach up here, grab the back of his head. And then I'm going to grab that grip right there. There we go. And you can go into your chokes from that. Yeah. Hit behind the head, straighten them out. Look it in. You can see it from this angle. I've got that trap. Now he's still holding my neck. So I want to clear my neck as I'm going. So as I step, because as I swing, I'm clearing. My hand now opens for this. And my step goes in. There's the face lock and neck crank. There it is. Very dangerous. It's very, very dangerous, guys. And you can feel it just by even just by getting you into that position, not even applying any pressure yet. You can already feel that tension on your sciatic nerve right there. Okay. Your sciatic nerve acts up, that whole side of your body is going to go limp, kind of like being paralyzed for a few minutes. You, you could paralyze for some Yeah. So yeah. all three of those combined, very likely you're causing serious damage. You go in the hospital. Right. So let's try it one more time. Okay, we're ready. Good. 
Go in here. I'm gonna get a couple of these on the back That's of the it. neck, yeah. right? Then I'm gonna push up, swing around, grip that. Then I'm gonna swing my leg around. Bam. All right. Close the circuit into the body. Huh? Yeah. Boom, the swing. Yeah, it is. Very nice. Very That's nice. That's my first time, too. <laughs> Try it a couple times. Over here. So he's got me, right? He's got me. So I'm going to try to get a couple of these in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to push back. Boom. Grip. Down. Swing around. Down. Boom. Close it. If he's trying to get that chin down, notice how I pull my head back. We're locked in. Okay. I have a bunch of stuff that we can also do from here. I oh. can deliver. I can headbutt. I can chop. Anything that's going to give you that momentary stun. Mm -hmm. Some of these have done correctly. I can go here. You see in my shockwave knockout? This is one of the ones. Shockwave. What I'm doing is I'm hitting the temple and folding underneath the back of the ear. Boom. Oh. Very quick. If I go here, I can also push and stretch the neck, yeah. which is another type of knockout, which is a nerve stretch. You may not get the knockout, but you can very much get a nice stun. Any of this here, I'm holding. I can compress. I can go just from here, drive and stretch them out, and I straighten this arm out. And as I'm getting that, I'm just holding this elbow long enough so that he doesn't fly away. I keep it clamped with a fuchs out position. As I push and I come under, got that nice hook, I'm gonna turn the face the same way as him. I'm gonna guide this around, grab that head, come back in, sit in for whatever I want. I suggest you guys just stay with sleepers when you're starting. Yeah. All right? Get that armpit nice and deep into the shoulder, come back around under that ear, close it down. You guys want it tighter, you just start with palm up and then close it down, shoulders in your back pocket, and you should be good to go. Very nice. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Bam. Wow. Wham. That's it. Tip me a little eight. bit off balance. There we go. Hang on. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Did it a couple times. Do it, do it. Okay, here we go. We're going to get in that clinch. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to chop a couple turns. Good. I'm going to straighten that arm out. You see how I got that? And then really quick, swing by. Bam. Good. Lock that in. So we're still using the disengagement as opposed to trying to break something and get into staying in the situation. We're trying to get behind them. I go here, boom, here, bang. I could just switch to this position and throw to the floor. Yeah. And that's going to be a whole bunch of trouble. But again, you're talking very dangerous techniques. Don't practice it without somebody that knows what they're doing. And don't jerk ever at these things. If you guys are training, Train slow, tap early, tap often. All right, so that's one.